For this video, I want to show you how I use Jasper, which is an AI writing assistant tool to write a blog post, but it's not really writing a full blog post. It's just to help me as writing. All right. Now I don't use Jasper that very much for my regular blogs, but for my niche site, I do use it to help me flesh out some of my ideas, but I don't use Jasper to figure out like the topic or the outline and things like that. I have to come up with most of the things. So if you don't know what Jasper is, it is an AI writing assistant tool. You shouldn't use it to write your entire blog post. I see so many videos out there that use Jasper to write an entire blog post. To be honest, as a copywriter, a freelance writer, those blog posts are junk. They're junk. They're not, they're fluff. They're not in depth. And so I wouldn't use Jasper that way. I would use Jasper to just help me build out my content subtopics that's mixed with my knowledge and understanding. So I use it as a blog post lengthener to help me write more about whatever I'm writing about. But I do find Jasper is very limited. It will not stick with one topic. So if I tell it to write about a certain topic, it will write three sentences and then it wants to move on. I have to keep prompting it. And so it is sort of this dance that you have to do. And I do have a very love hate relationship with using Jasper, but because I have this niche site and I do want to get as much content as I can, I am using it more heavily on that site than any other of my blogs. I do hire writers to write some of the content for my lifestyle blogs. So I have a system in place <laughs> for my content schedule, but with this niche site, I'm not going to add my writers to write for this site yet. I want it to, you know, get, a foundation of content. I think that will initially get that traffic. Then it's worth it to get my writers to write on this site. But right now I don't want to waste their time. I'd rather waste my time and focus on my time because I have the time, you know, since I make a living as a blogger, I have the time to focus on certain sites. You know, last week I was focusing heavily on smart mom ideas. And so over the weekend I was writing blog posts for twins mommy, right? So now I'm going to be focusing on my new niche site for a little bit. And Jasper will help me with that. So if you don't know what I'm talking about, here is what Jasper looks like. It is a paid tool. I am using the boss mode. So if you want to check out a free trial of it, just click on my link below. It is a special affiliate link. I am an affiliate for them. So I'm going, I'm going to show you within my blog post, but I am going to tell you what I use it for too. As you'll see, if you go to my documents, so you can see most of these are just untitled. I have these as like titles here, but my blog posts aren't in those, but these are just untitled because I'm not using it for a full blog post. If you go to templates, I think this is where Jasper can really work and it does work great for me. I have been using these recipes or whatever these templates that they call them. There's lots here, like tons here. My favorite is social media and using it for my Pinterest pin titles and description. Now the pin titles aren't the best. They basically just whatever I tell them in the description, they just mark it as that's the title, but that's okay. I am really good with my copy for headlines for conversions, but I do like the, the description that they give me and it's nice. They have some cool things that they add. So that really helps me. I haven't used it for Instagram yet. I might play around with that, but I like the social media. And then I have been using it a little bit for email. So they have some really cool things, especially for outreach, cold email and subject lines. That really is a nice little feature. And then just improving whatever I'm writing or adding some more, more filler, more things that I can write about in my email. So that is a really cool thing that I like. And definitely it, it has lots of things here. You know, if you look specifically at SEO, it does emerge with a keyword surfer, I think, or a keyword uh, plant a keyword tool, which I haven't merged mine yet because I have my own SEO strategy. If you want to know my SEO strategy, I share it all in ready, set blog for traffic. I'll put the link below so you can check that out, but it's my premium course for my twins, mommy audience. All right. How do I use this? Well, let's go to my niche site and let's say that I want to write a blog post about bathroom cleaning hacks. I will spend the time researching what those hacks are and I will write a basic outline. When you're writing a blog post, have a keyword in mind and then 
have your outline in mind with those keywords if you can. At this point, I did not get keywords for my subtopics. So I'm just gonna write what I have. Since these are hacks, you're gonna find a lot of these as like TikTok viral type of hacks and that's fine. And that's what I found in my research, but I'll write out a basic outline. So let me do that real quick. All right, so this is a basic outline. I would definitely write more. I do want my blog post to be at least 2000 words. So I would definitely have maybe like 21 of these, but for the sake of this tutorial, I am showing you how to use Jasper to write a blog post for me to help me with my blog post. And so I would start my blog post myself with either a story or to introduce the topic. And then I would put that into Jasper and see if it would add more. Sometimes it does, sometimes it just wants to get right into what it thinks it's about and just start writing off the list themselves. <laughs> Let me just write a quick introduction so I can show you. So I'm just gonna leave it like this. I'm just gonna copy what I have. I'm gonna go to Jasper and I'm going to go to documents, go to new. I'm gonna do from scratch just so that I can build my content since I don't write my complete blog post. I'm gonna put the title here as H1. When you tell Jasper what you want to write about, putting your subtopics or your title in, in a heading form. So H1 really tells it what it's about. You can also put it on the side here, but I don't really touch this that much. And then I, if I'm going to give it my outline, I'm going to put it in H2 or H3. So this is what I have. I'm going to leave my cursor here at the end and then I'm going to have the output length of medium. And when I do this, Jasper is going to compose the rest and we'll see if it's going to just get into the list or it's gonna add more. Yeah, so it's already going and making that list. So it's deemed this is enough. I have to prime it. It might give me a sentence. These bathroom cleaning. Okay, so I was able to prime it to give me this sentence and I can prime it again. These bathroom cleanings are gonna save you time and money. So before I get into the cleaning hacks for the bathroom, let's go through what cleaning supplies you need. Jasper will probably give me a list of the cleaning supplies. So let's see what it gives. Cool, so I can modify this. I know I need shaving cream and I need a magic eraser. Toothbrush is fine. I can put, get rid of this cause we have sponge. Uh, we'll put microfiber cloth and there you go. Here is my list, which is fine. I can definitely add to this, but I think for a beginner, this is fine. So then I would just copy this. Actually, I would copy up to here and then put it into my blog post. I would make this a bullet list. I'm gonna get rid of this and then add my spacer and then add a space bar and that will give it a bullet. And then I can just remove this and add it to my bullet list. And then I would do my affiliate marketing on, I talk about my favorite sponge, and then I would probably do my favorite antibacterial cleaner, my microfiber cloth and gloves. Like the, a couple of these I would add affiliates for. I would add my heading. All right, and then I would use this to see like what Jasper would give me. So if I have this, I'm gonna make this H2. A cool bathroom cleaning hack is to use, and then let's see what it does. All right, cool. It gave me this little blurb, which is fine for if I'm going to make a long form blog post, I don't need uh, to spend a lot of time on this. I do need to make this visual heavy to show them the audience what I'm doing. So that's something that I need to start demonstrating is with these hacks to show that I'm using these hacks, the magic eraser I have. I have a bathroom so I can have a picture of that. But a cool bathroom cleaning hack is to use a magic eraser. So this is a brand to clean your shower or tub. You just need to get the magic eraser wet and then start scrubbing away at any dirt and grime in your tub. I know that uh, you would do this like right before you wash your body. So just before you wash your body, the magic eraser in the shower at all times. So right before you wash, you can quickly wash or scrub 
the tub and shower. I don't have a shower door. Okay, so the great thing about using magic is that it doesn't require any harsh chemicals. I was able to add a little sentence and then that would be the first hack. And then I would go to the second one and again, see what Jasper gives me. And then I would add more, take away, things like that. Jasper does like when you can give it a pattern. If I copy what I have and feed it in, it might follow the sentence structure. But for me, I don't like that. I don't want every sentence to start with, you know, the best thing about this and the next one, the best thing about this and the next one, the best thing, because that's what it's gonna pick up, those similarities. And so I like to just sort of give it what I want to give it and, and work that way. And it seems to work well. This pattern seems to work well for me. So if we save what we have and preview it, so this is what it has. I don't have a number here. So I would have like 21 fantastic bathroom cleaning hacks or something like that. But I, I would break up my introduction just a little bit. I like per sentences. It just adds more to the post and it flows easier if I don't have like these big blocks of uh, paragraphs. But I like this. I have a bullet list again to just create more white space and make my sentences shorter. If you can see shorter versus all the way over. And then I have perfect. That's a nice amount to have for each thing. If I'm gonna have 21 of these or 31 of these hacks, right? Awesome, that looks good. So you might be wondering, wow, Jasper is producing this content. It must be like, where is it coming from? Is it plagiarized? No, you're, it's not plagiarized, just to let you know. It's all unique content. So I think in 2018 or 2019, Jasper scoured all the articles, all the internet, to compile the information and now is using it to generate content. I don't know if Jasper is gonna be updated to like 2020 or 2021 or whatnot. I would be hesitant to write about things that you know now, even historical data, even uh, factual data, Jasper is not good at. It will tell you facts. It will tell you things that sound legit, but it's, you have to double check that. For something like, you know, this, that's fine. But with something like bathroom hacks, using shaving cream, I mean, all this stuff is still very common, right? So I trust that. And I know, cause I'm on TikTok, I can see what's trending. And I've done a TikTok cleaning hacks video that I know that this is a popular thing. I can build my content off of that and that can help me write long form content. You know, this uh, post is 106 must know general cleaning tips. Jasper helped me. I wrote a lot of it myself and it took me a little bit of time, but it, it helped me write a lot of this stuff. So this section here, it helped me write the beginning of this section. I added this sec, like these little things here. I added the beginning parts of the sentences, you know, just to make it more personal. This is all generated from Jasper. Again, this is generated by me. <laughs> so it's a give and take, as you can see, I go in and clean it up, but it just keeps going and going and going and going. And I just add when I can and just make it better copy than what it gives me. You know, I do have my standards. You know, there might be like this niche site's not my top, top standard of writing because I can't devote that much time. So I at least make it personable. I add what I can for stories. I add sort of like conversational writing, you know, that can help. And then I use Jasper to sort of fill in the basic content of those cleaning tips or those cleaning hacks or those organization hacks. Cause I trust that I trust Jasper providing that. And I am also reading a lot of other organizing blogs and cleaning blogs to see what they're doing to just get some more ideas of how to use the magic eraser or how to use a scrub daddy or whatever it is for my niche site. So hopefully that helped you. Go ahead and give Jasper a try yourself. Does help you write faster. You know, my blog post process is sped up. So instead of taking me 10 days to write 4,000 words there, it only took me, I'd say, I only spent probably three or four days on it. If I'm writing something very short under a thousand words, it takes no more than 30 minutes, less than that even because I can build my post easily. So that's how I personally use Jasper. If you wanna know how I'm using it for my Pinterest descriptions, just pop it in the comments below and let me know. Otherwise, make sure to click on the link to start your trial of using Jasper and see if you like it. I would definitely try it out. See about using it as a blog post beginner. They do have a blog post section, so they want you to have the title and just really tell Jasper what your blog post is about and it will generate something. That might be fun for you to look at. For me, I want more depth in my content. So I use Jasper to give me more when I need it, but I build the content, I build the topics, I build the introduction sentences, and I build it that way. So then Jasper just helps me finish it out or round it out or whatever you wanna call it. 
All right, I hope you like this video. Give it a thumbs up. Subscribe to my channel for more videos like this and let me know, like I said in the comments below, if you wanna see Jasper doing my pin titles in my Pinterest strategy and I'll make sure to make a video for you for that. All right, I'll see you in the next video.